This episode will be aired anytime from the time you're watching this video and I feel so bad for the Shah family, especially since the loss of um I know uh, the loss of Sama. But anyways, this episode, um as usual, whenever any tragic stuff happens in India, they find somebody to use a sacrificial lamp and it's usually the female lead characters in the shows that I always blame for the predicaments their family face. However, this time around, you've already know that Anuj is the good guy, so that is why they'll have to blame him and every other stuff. If Anuj was all those kind of arrogant husband, then who have mind or have not to talk to him anyhow. But as a good guy, Ranaj is accusing him of Sama's death, and also they are kicking him out of the Shah house and humiliating him, and he's begging Anupama, and Anupama is not even saying anything to him. Let us talk about it. And Pama tells Sama's dead body that now she understands why she was thanking him and asking her to take care of Dimpy and her child. She says our togetherness is not just for this birth, but for many births. She says because we're better in this birth, but she'll be born as my son. Why walking? We will walk holding hands and feet and will laugh out loud. She says I'll be your mother in every birth. She says you said whatever you wanted to say and left, but whom to stay and might up. But whom am I to say that I am proud of you and the luckiest mother of this world to be your mother? She thanks Amma for being her best son and best human being in the world. Everyone cries, you guys. I'm so, 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 so touched by this episode of Radopama. You guys already, I just feel like these people are just like our neighbors or like kind of people we know in our life because we have been watching their story from, you know, evolving from the beginning and now Samar's death. I just feel like one somebody that I know in real life just died and it's so sad. Anyways, she shows the black thread and says that it will save you in all but and my blessing will always be with you. She moves close from his feet and ties the black thread. She recalls Sama and sits, keeping her hands on her head. I did get a message and signs Anuj. Anuj takes the fight in his hand and says that the doctor message and asks us to decide first. Toshu asks for what and Adik says a guy in the hospital who needs organ and that is why his family and doctor requested us to donate his organ. Um, Leila asks them to refuse and says my grandson will not be incomplete. Dimple says that we shall donate and Say his body have left, but his spinning is still there. She says his body will be born if we can save someone from having the same pain which we are going through. Then why not? She says at least his organ will be alive in someone else's body. And Pama says Dimpe is right and says that if we can save someone's child, then we should do it. Babaji says if everyone thinks of organ donation, then many lives will be saved. Varaj says and Pama that if she's ready to sign that and he is also ready. Varaj and Pama co signs and Pama hugs Sama's dead body. Anush says that we have to take Sama to hospital before last rites and say our call doctor. The good breastless falls down from Anush close. Toshi says this is that guy. Varaj recalls the happening and tells that they are remembered now. And tells Anupama that Anush is responsible for the death of Sama and that he is the real murderer. Everyone tries to calm Varaj down because obviously I've lost his senses. Toshi and I don't blame him. Let me also add it. I don't blame him for losing his senses in this particular episode because it's not easy to lose one's child. Toshu asks him to calm down. Babuji asks him not to lose his calm. Varaj says Sama is dead because of Anuj. He says I asked Anuj many times to not fight those guys and not run and not lose Sama's happiness. But he have patience, then he wouldn't have this wouldn't have happened. He tells that everything sh he tells everything shocking them. He says that if Anuj have controlled his anger, then my son would have been alive. He says Sama was someone's son, grandson, brother, husband, father, etc. He says that Pama's husband have snatched all this relation from Sama. And tells Anuj that why they have tried to be the hero, he have finally became the villain. He tells that you got Dimpu married Sama but ruined her life before one year of marriage and says that the guy shot at Sama. Later on, um, Anuj tells that he was ignoring this guy when they were misbehaving with them at Sama but he misbehaved with the girl then he couldn't bear it and lost his cool. He says that he didn't do anything. Uh, he says that I didn't know that he was having a gun and apologized to everyone saying that he's his name was on the bullet, which is Sama. Anush tells Vanra that he can punish him but not accuse him. He, he has not killed the yes, Sama. He keeps his hands on Vanra. Vanra checks Anush and he falls down. Anush keeps asking Anupama to believe him and says that I have give, if I have known, then I would have given my life but save Sama. He asks Anupama if you think I'm wrong. Anupama is silent. Later on, Anush says that I can bear your anger and hatred but not your silence. And obviously, I still don't blame anybody. You guys, did you hear what I said? I don't blame Anupama. I don't blame Anuj. I don't blame Vanaj. Emotions are high. Everybody can misbehave. He's tolerated on this particular episode. But if we should not like kill our, our Anuj for us. Because how you people be pushing him up and down like that? Like, what's it going to happen? I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.